Hi, I'm Marnie Alton of Embody by Marnie Alton. Welcome to the Well and Good Trainer of the Month Club. I'm really excited to be here with you. So for today's workout, what we're gonna do is a 10 minute standing core series. It's primarily working your abs, but just mindful that our glutes, our back muscles, they're also a part of our core. So we're gonna have that as our focus. No equipment is needed. We'll flow through in a dancer's choreographic series. You don't need shoes at all. There will be some impact options. So if you would prefer to use them, feel free. All right, let's go. Start by just shaking it off. So allow yourself to feel light as you land in your foot. Begin to spread your toes. We spend a lot of energy holding things, right? Holding on to tension in the neck, shoulders, or jaw. We want to release that. Allow for vibrations to travel from your foot right into your core. Inhale your arms up. Allow your stomach and lungs to expand in the round. What I mean by that is let your abdominal muscles open like Buddha. And then as you exhale, draw them back in. Breathe into your back, your side ribs and lungs. Then from there, turn your feet forward and just allow for a light little run. I'm gonna show you from the side. You work at hinging from the hips and maintaining that postural body as you swing your arms forward and back. Eight counts, one. Two for more heat, speed up the run. Four, five, six, seven. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, step out just to neutral, hip width, circle your head. And for the first circle, just explore. Imagine a compass hitting all four directions. Change, circle the other way. Not forcing, but exploring. Checking out where you're starting from. Bring your right arm forward. Same idea, spiral motions, bring it back. Mobilizing your rotator cuff, other arm forward. Keeping your arms strong, circle back. With ease, they move. Hips around. So your hips are your energetic center. We want to really find that release through the flexors. Other way, circle around. Starting to recognize the grip of your glute, how it works in conjunction with your abdominal muscles. Legs together. Step down, right arm up. Down. Now you have a few options here. You can increase the depth to which you plie. So pushing your hips even further back behind your heels to maintain that safety throughout your knees. If it's not good to raise your arms, just keep your elbows in prayer. Down, up. If you prefer to add a little more impact, change it to jumping jacks. 16 counts, two, three. So you have all of these options. This is your choice, your 10 minutes. Eight more, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your legs together, inhale up again. Drop your shoulders, anchor them against your back, hold to your right wrist, feel the lift from your heel all the way out your hand. And as you exhale, notice the stretch happening in the fibrous tissue that runs between your rib bones and your hip bones, all of your oblique muscles, the side twisting muscles of your abdomen. And now the front, the rectus abdominis, the tissue that creates that accordion from your ribs to hips. Here's an option. If you prefer, bring your hands to your low back. So what we're doing here is mobilizing your spine so that we have freedom of motion to activate really deeply in your core to get that lovely sculpt. Stand up tall, round forward. Counter stretch, just to make sure we got blood flow. Round up, bring your arms overhead. On your exhale, swing your arms back and bend your knees twice. You can watch this a couple times. These are rolling hangovers. So you're familiar with modern dance. They may feel quite familiar to you. Once more, just a reminder, the jump is only an option and absolutely not necessary to get the benefits of the movement. But if you like to jump, spring up, two more. One more like that. Now from there, step your left foot behind you and bring your left arm up. Lengthen, re-square your hips and shoulders, drop down, side step, down, up, down. Option, add the other arm as well. So you're feeling yourself begin to flow. Add an exhale. Really extend as you tap your toe down. There's a grip from your exhale out your pointed foot or it becomes a knee lift. That's also an option. The higher the knee, the more you're gonna get that sculpt in your side waist. Option, challenge a jump, one of four. You're at two, three. Land in your curtsy and pause. 
Bring both arms up. Pull your elbows down. Tuck your hips. Tuck. Tuck. Hold. Release. Tuck. Tuck. Hold. Two more. So now we're creating that sort of connection between your postural muscles, your glutes, and your abs. Eight tucks on the beat. One. Two. Like a standing abdominal crunch. Six. Seven. Bring your arms up. Circle round. One of four. Always coming back to these circles to really get the full depth of sculpt in your abdomen. Drop a little bit lower. Then from there, opposite arm out. Stay at this deep bend. Bring your other arm to meet it. Little pulses as you stretch. Stretch. Eight more like that. One. Check that your heart is lifted and that that stretch is activating with an exhale. Stay low. Lift your torso upright. Pull your knee up. Up. Try to keep the rest of your body still. Last 16 counts. One, two. So the power and focus, the meditative nature of the stillness connected to your breath is gonna allow for this to benefit your body even quicker. Six, seven, and step out, other side. Pause. Find your elegant posture. Square your hips. Drop, lift, down, up. Breathe in and out. And you have the option to bring the other arm along for the ride. Down and up. Point your foot, create that balletic extension. Option, turn it to a knee lift. Exhale as the knee lifts, right to your ears. Option, jump for four. That's two. Be playful with this. Pause. Bring both arms up, draw down. Tuck, tuck, hold. Feel that grip. A moment of stillness, hold. Two more. A moment where there's a conscious exhale from your low stomach. A long, deep breath out. Tuck, eight, two. Pulling your elbows back is gonna create more depth of length. That's six, more posture, hold there. Then from there, arms up, outer arm to the side. Other arm comes to meet it. Drop a little deeper and stretch. Eight more. One, two, three, four, five. You should feel a little fiery in your legs. That's a metabolic lift. Pause upright. Other arm stays in second. Knee up. Breathe out as you bring your knee up. 16 counts. Now notice that grace and power Work together here. Eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step out to second position. Plie down and up. Breathe in and out. Two more times. Now stay nice and low. Stay low and pulse. Bring your arms up. So even as you transition, you dance through it. Hands back. Right arm down and down. Exhale on that crunch. Option, add an arm reach four times. One. That's two, but never curving your spine. We want the work to come from the musculature down. So you can start right away with the arm extensions. If you found that on the other side, that felt good. Or keep your elbows bent four more times. We're at two. That's three. Keep your elbows back. Pulse down low for eight. Two, three. Again, core strengthening is occurring here as your abdominal muscles maintain your lifted chest. Pause. Bring your arms up, turn your feet and your hips forward. Bow down, little shake of your hips, bend your knees, roll up. Two, three, left hand punches. Side, side, knee up. Now notice the change here. We've changed your toes to parallel. Down, down, up. Lower, higher. Really get your knee to your sky for more. One, down, down, two. That's three. Straight knee lifts eight times with an elbow cross. Two, three. So we're working more through the front section of those long abdominal muscles, other side. Up, cross, cross, lift. Check again that your toes haven't turned out too far. Four more. One, low, high. Work three, straight up, 
Eight times. You're at three, four, five, six, seven. Land here, go side, side, double. Side, side, double. So your hips stay forward facing as you twist from your stomach. One to four, two to four, three. Straight twist, 16 times. Little press. More energy in the press of the hands down and your chest up. Now, roll, roll, in, in, land. Roll, roll, in, in, land. Or roll, roll, out, land. Roll, roll, little jacks, land. Two more. One more. Now, just legs back. This is where we finish. So it's a dynamic stretch making sure that the blood stays gently flowing throughout your body. Last 16, three. So keep your heart up. That's making long lines from chin to hips. Last eight, two, three, four. No impact is always an option. Seven, and inhale up. Exhale down. One final breath in this aversion, inversion rather. Let blood come back to your brain. Bend your knees and round up. Roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders back. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. The words to say to yourself today, over and over, I am safe and I am well. I am safe and I am well. You are and you're stronger. Have such a beautiful day. If you're looking for more videos with me, you can find me on my online platform. It's Embody Online. And please don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. Thank you so much for joining me today.